Hey guys, what's up? It's Lena here with another review for Casey and the Cover Double Cross Special. This is part two of the whole part three summer event special. So let's get into it. Everything was crazy and we opened a lot of doors tonight. Okay. The episode started off with Casey was trying on outfits because she and Brett, she was wondering what Brett was gonna like and all that. She it was so cute. It was like a sweatshirt crop top and she had a pencil skirt on. It was the cutest outfit ever. I need that outfit, like seriously. And she was talking to Judy and Marissa and Marissa's like, Oh my gosh, what, uh, you have legs. Last time I saw you what your legs I was in second grade. And then Casey's like, Yeah, last time I saw you in the library was second grade. And I was like, Ooh, shade, but oh, whatever. And then Judy was like, Why y'all getting dressed up for some boy? I don't get I love Wi Fi, but I don't get dressed up for that. And then Casey explained to her what love was and how you get butterflies in your stomach and all that. And she's like, I might be in love, but that's what Judy. But she's like, but I don't like, I, Wi Fi still sound better. I'm like babbling over here. Casey and Brett was sitting down and they was like, I'm so happy I'm we boyfriend and girlfriend. And then Craig's like, I'm so happy you're my daughter's boyfriend. Brett said, I'll get, I'll, I hope me and Casey has the same love you and Kira has then Kira rolled her eyes and then Craig was like I'm gonna give you t uh, tips a hundred ways to keep a woman happy then uh, uh Casey said or you can give us one way of giving us some privacy and then Kira was like come over here and then Kira tells Craig that she there's something about hit Brett that she don't like that she said he's too perfect and he's so suspicious she's like just like how they put the peanut butter and jelly in the same jar and he was like oh yeah that's nasty that was too good to be true Brett said, I wish I wish we could have one day together without our parents. And she's like, I know, right? And she's like, Well, I mean, if this work out, who's gonna walk who is who is um dad gonna walk us down the aisle? Who's gonna walk who is he gonna walk down the aisle? Me or you? And he's like, Well, I have to choose. I can make two trips. So, um, Ernie and Judy was talking and he was playing a video game with this alien robot named Colossus and Judy saw him and she fell she instantly fell in love because he's like a robot and she's a robot and she thinks she's uh, he's like a good a good looking and stuff. Casey and Brett was at the Froyo place, and Brett was saying, "You know, you could tell a lie about a person by the fr yogurt they eat." And she's like, "Well, you break. Well, you eat bacon flavor, and that yogurt shows that you have bad taste in yogurt." Then he was like, "Yeah, that's nasty." Then the grass is moving. And it was like, "Wait, grass in the Froyo store?" It was like fake grass, but still. Um, uh, Kate, she, Casey went over there, and she saw that it was Kira spying on them, and Craig was there, and Craig was spying on Kira while Kira spied on them. So then, uh, Casey was like, "So it's a spy spying on a spy while spying on a spy." She's like, "It's a spy check. It's a spy factor, like a trifecta, because three people, yeah." So, um. Casey's upset. She's like, sorry. He's like, and then Brett's like, oh no, at least you get to see your parents. My dad is always traveling around. The only place I get to see him is on the computer. So then he was like, oh, speak, speaking of him. And she, so then he called and he was like, hi, dad. And she was like, I can't make the, I can't wait to meet you, Mr. Woods. And he was like, she, he can't wait to meet you too. So then he went outside. He went outside and he was like, everything's falling into place. I will deliver her to you on Saturday night. And I was like, oh, schnitzel. Brett surprised Casey at school and he was he was like they um first alone for the first time and then Marissa came over and then Casey's like leave we want some privacy then Marissa's like oh but if it was for me not liking him and you starting to like him if you didn't like him you wouldn't have him as a boyfriend right now so she's like not that I don't like you I just don't like you that way so then she almost mentioned about Casey's parents being spies right there where Brett was and so Brett was kind of looking but then she kind of like played it off and left so then Brett got him and Beyonce tickets, Casey, him and Casey Beyonce tickets. Then she's like, wait, who did you have to kill to get these tickets? Then he, she's like, wait, don't, don't answer that. Don't answer that. So, um, he said, it's two tickets, not three. If your dad want to go, he can buy his own or he can go to a different city or a different concert. Or he, maybe he should just, maybe he just see uh, Rihanna. So, um, Casey said that the concert starts at midnight. She said that's past her curfew and her bedtime. And he's like, well, maybe you could just lie to your parents and just go. And she was like, what? I'm not going to do that. So, Brad is already being a little bad boy. Judy was, um, so then after that, Judy is, was playing the game. And she was all dressed up and stuff. And she was, like, hogging, hogging the game and stuff. And she, it, Ernie came in. He's like, you hogging, you hogging. And she was like, two's company, three's a crowd. And he said, but it's the two of them. And she's like, are you dissing my man? Oh, yeah, uh, Trinity Stokes, she fed my tuna tuna and so did Kadeem Hardison. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, he was like, you ain't got no man. So then Ernie just left out the room. So Casey Mercer was at the Froyo place. It's called El Froyo Loco. That's pretty cool. Like El Po Loco, the uh, taco place. Um, she, um, Casey was like trying to be hypothetical with Marissa and say, why well, if uh, somebody wanted to leave and like sneak out, then what would you do? And she was like, um, 
So she was like, oh, well, I'm just going to lie. She ended up saying that she was just going to lie because she said, why should I? I'm 16 years old. 16 years old and I'm responsible. Don't put that 16 year old stuff. Come on. Stop. Don't do that. She's like, I'm 16 year old and I'm responsible. So she's going to go. Oh, my God. No. So then Casey goes and at the house and she tells Craig, Kira and Craig, that she's leaving to go to Marissa's house. And Kira thinks that she should follow her. And Craig's like, to Marissa's, no, I had enough of that girl. She's here. She's here every uh, 100 days. She was here for, she came here for breakfast at, uh, for in 100 days in a row. I should claim her on my taxes. So then Kira is like, Kira's so suspicious. She's suspicious of Brett too. So Casey and Brett was driving and Casey is excited to see Queen B. And then Casey knows that Brett isn't getting off the highway um, with the GPS to tell him to go in. And he mentioned, um, he mentions, he's like, oh, change the plans. You're going to see his dad. And she, he tells her that Zane, he's like, yeah, Zane's my dad. And she's like, oh, really, Zane? And then she laughs, and he like, I'm serious. And he straps her in the car, in the seat. So he Brett says, his dad will explain everything here. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I am I forgot to tell you I'm a liar. And she's like, yeah, I'm starting to pick that up, okay, Brett? Brett is freaking crazy. I think he's going to turn out well, though. Kara is, was, they was getting, they was getting, so the next thing, they was getting, eating breakfast, and then Marissa came and got breakfast, and she's like, where's Casey, and then Marissa forgot that Casey lied about the stuff, so she tried to cover it up, but then it was like, tell us, so then she told the truth, and then she was like, she left for Brett, and Ernie was like, ooh, this just got good, and then she was like, and then she went to, uh, then she got to, went to the concert, she's like, ooh, this just got better, and then she's like, and she went to New York, and then uh, Ernie's like, ooh, this just got bad and um so Casey so then after that Casey's tied up somewhere in a barn Brett's like how'd you sleep and she's like well I had this awful dream when my boyfriend went, was my parents arch nemesis was my parents arch nemesis son and she's like oh wait so Brett thought about how breakfast burrito would know me because she's a vegetarian she's a vegetarian in real life too and um uh, he's a vegetarian so she asked him did he really like her he said of course he says not personal it's bigger than them she said let's, let's let our parents fight their battles and we just leave so then Zane, Zane came in and says, careful, son, you can't trust her words. She said, like her mother, oh, 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 we're saying mama Joe. we saying, we're saying he's he coming for her mama. So now he he been waiting a long time for this. And he said, Craig and Kira's marriage made him crazy. Then he said he's going to take away everything her parents love, starting from her, then the ending with the organization. And then he leaves and says, I'm so, and then um, she, Casey was like, I'm so glad I never let you kiss me. Judy is looking for the colossal video game. Ernie went and traded in for another game, and she's pretty upset. She said that it was perfect for each other, and they, that's, now she don't have any love. But Ernie's like, well, you got us. You got your family. And she's like, well, I'll settle for that. So it's like, uh, robots do got a heart. So Casey was trying to break out of the out of her ties, and Zane comes in. He's like, I see you inherited your dad like an upper body strength. Then she's like, no, nah, my brother got that. And then she said, look, my parents are looking for me. And he said, they're, no, they're not. They they they, they going to end up thinking you home. And then so he's like, Casey? And she's like, I'm right here. And he's like, no. So then a duplicate came in. This girl got her face freaking surgery redone to look just like Casey. Like, she looks exactly like Casey. And Casey's like, oh, she good. So now Karen Craig was worried. But then they, so then uh, K that fake Casey came in. So they're like, oh, my God, yeah, it's Casey. So then Casey's telling Zane that the parents aren't going to believe the fakey, but now K the, the parents, Kara and Craig, are believing them, and now they're hugging her, and like, oh, we love you, we miss you, and all that. So now they're hugging her, and now the fake Casey's getting a sly look. It's a split screen. You got Casey all tied up, and oh my God, what's going to happen? <gasps> part two is crazy. That was the end of the freaking episode. I cannot wait for tomorrow night, Sunday night, part three, the end of this whole thing. Marissa's going to find out everybody's fake. Everybody's going to find out everybody's fake. Zendaya, I mean, not, oh, Casey is breaking out. And she's gonna go fight the fake Casey. Marissa knows Zane is at the house with Ernie and Judy. It's getting crazy, y'all. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow night. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Since everyone knows, since everyone from the Casey Undercover cast in this box right here on the side of me, follow me on all my social medias down below in the description. And I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye. Part three.